Hi, I'm Claire and I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist. And today I'm gonna to take you through some helpful information to know about abdominal birth, commonly known as cesarean section. During surgery, they go through different layers. So initially through the skin and then through the fascia, which is the connective tissue. Then they go between the muscles. So they don't cut your muscles, which is really important for us to know. Underneath this, they go through the peritoneum, which is the sac which holds your organs to find the uterus, which they go through, then through the amniotic sac to find your baby. You might find that your recovery is different depending on whether you've had an elective procedure or an emergency. If you've labored for a number of hours before the surgery, then you can find that your body takes a little bit longer to recover. It's normal for recovery to take about six weeks for soft tissue healing to occur. However, you can still be active during this time, going out on gentle walks. But what's really important for you to feel is what's happening to the scar. If you go out on a slightly longer walk and later on that day, you feel that your scar is more swollen or painful, this is an indication to you that maybe you've done a little bit too much. The scar is normally healed by six weeks, including the uterine scar. However, some of you may notice that you've had an infection and had antibiotics. Therefore, you need to wait a little bit longer for the scar to fully heal. It's important to listen to your body during this time. And if you notice that by the end of the day, maybe your scar feels more swollen or painful, this may be an indication that during that day, you've done too much activity and you may need to build in some more rest periods. Another factor to consider is that the fascia, which is the connective tissue between the skin and the muscles, will still be half of its original strength from pre-pregnancy. And it's also important to remember that even though you've had an abdominal birth and the baby has not come through the vaginal canal, your pelvic floor has still been lengthened during pregnancy. And therefore it's still incredibly important to do your pelvic floor exercises after abdominal birth. For the reasons that we've discussed, it may take longer after an abdominal birth to recover than after a vaginal birth, but everyone's birth is different. And therefore it's about your body and your individual return to exercise and activity. Thanks for watching. I've created a series of videos to help you in your postnatal recovery. And if you'd like to know more, check out FIT and the postnatal plan.